Yo, what's up everyone? In this uh, video we're going to talk about the meta builds for the current patch, which is 12.11. Um, I will talk about pros, cons, uh, which max to run and which ammo to use. Enjoy! And just before we start, a quick reminder that subscribing to the channel really makes me happy. And currently we are at 32% of people which are subbed, which are watching my videos. Um, and we used to be at 69% of people who are not subbed. And since that number keeps decreasing, we need to increase the number of sub people to make it 69. Nice. So yeah, if you still haven't clicked that button, please do. Thank you. So first gun I'm going to have a look at is going to be HK. This is the build. Feel free to copy it. Um, generally, HK is a very flash shooting gun. It's a bit worse than M4 because it has higher recoil. Uh, and the higher your recoil control and AR skills are, the easier it is to control HK. So if you have, uh, let's say, level 10 assault rifles and level 10 recoil control, HK is going to feel pretty nice. Regarding ammo, my advice is to use M8501 uh, if you have unlocked it at Traders, since it's much cheaper than buying it uh, on the flea or buying M995 from the flea. So M995 is 2000 rubles per bullet on the flea and uh, M8501 is only 360 rubles from traders so either buy m8501 from traders if you have unlocked it or if you're looking for flea market ammo then go for m995 it's 200 rubles more expensive sometimes m995 is even cheaper but it's definitely worth going for it and if you want to save money the ammo after m8501 is going to be m8561 which has a bit lower penetration, but still decent. And even lower than that is going to be M855. So this will be the worst bullets you can use for your HK and your M4s. As I said earlier, HK is a really fast shooting gun and it's very fun to use close range. However, if you select M4, it has some advantages compared to HK. First of all, M4 has uh, better ergonomics. Um, you can use this build or you can use a um, shorter barrel which will give you even higher ergonomics and secondly but very importantly m4 has much lower recoil compared to hk even though the numbers seem to be pretty close to each other 90 and 116 in reality it feels very different because first of all hk shoots faster and secondly you can't really compare you can't really compare the recoil numbers between different guns since for different guns they can they can feel completely um, completely different and the M4 with 90 recoil and uh, I don't know an MPX with 90 recoil is gonna feel completely different. But long story short, um, we're using Graal S, or you can use high ergo HK grip simply for ergonomics. That's to boost our ergo on the M4. MOE stock with a butter, butter <laughs> with a rubber butt pad is being used for a good combination of uh, lowering recoil and increasing ergo. Uh, I personally think it's the best uh, stock this wipe so far. Advanced tube is being used. Can I show it? Advanced tube is being used to lower recoil even further. It lowers it by four percent. Um. And yeah, it's generally a low recoil build. We also use the new suppressor, which is called uh, Sakir ASR. It has the best stats. It has the best stats, and it is the meta suppressor for 5 of 6 in this patch. The next gun we're going to talk about is going to be MK Mutant, which is using um, 762 caliber. The bullets which you should be using are 762 BP rounds. You can buy them from proper if you've finished uh, Punisher quests for literally 1000 rubles or you can buy it for 1.2-1.3k on the flea market depending um, on the time you're playing. During the prime time uh, the prices are higher uh, and after the reset, whenever the reset is complete, the prices are, the prices are typically lower. Another ammo which you can consider running is MIAP. It's a bit more expensive than BP but has higher penetration. Uh, and if you use it, it's going to be a bit easier to kill people running Altans. You will be able to one-tap Altans. While BP typically has a 50% chance of uh, ricocheting and... Uh, well, not really ricocheting, not penetrating Alton with the first shot. And it will be going through slicks easier. 
compared to BP bullets. But other than that, if you're fighting people who are wearing level 5 armor, level 4 helmets, it's going to be very easy, even with BP bullets. So BP is your choice. As we already discussed before, I'm using advanced tube and MOE stock as a combination for good ergonomics and low recoil. Uh, and same goes for the front part of the gun. Using this handguard in combination with shift gives you a lower recoil and pretty high ergo. And the current suppressor, which is meta for 7.62, is Ultra 5. MDR 308. Ultra 5 is the meta suppressor for 7.62, as I already mentioned before. That's why we use it. Shift grip increases our ergonomics, and this is it. You can't really do much with MDR. It's very easy to assemble, very fast. Uh, amazing gun, absolutely love it. If you haven't tried it or haven't played much with it, this wipe, highly recommend it. And bullets wise, I recommend using M62 for a few reasons. First of all, M62 is only $8 if you have it unlocked. Uh, it has slightly better um, stats than M80, a bit more penetration, and it will go through level 4 and level 5 armor better. But also it decreases your recoil by 5%, um, which actually does make a difference if you compare it to M61, which has much better stats penetration wise. It uh, one taps all the helmets, um, two taps slicks, jukes, but it gives you an, an additional 10% recoil. And if you play with those bullets and you compare them, you can actually feel the difference. So my choice of bullet is M62. However, if you don't have a lot of money or you don't have M62 unlocked, I think it's totally fair to play with M80. M80 has really high uh, damage. I think it's uh, 79 damage uh, per shot. I might be wrong. And its uh, penetration is a bit lower than M62, but it's still a very decent, uh, very decent bullet. So if you don't have money or you don't have M62 unlocked, don't hesitate and play with M80. Really, really decent ammo. And last but not least, Val. Val, I think like Val is, mm, it's a very fun gun to use. The problem with Val is uh, that it has very high recoil and the bullets are very slow. So using it at medium to long ranges is nearly impossible. So if you play something like Laps Factory or you like playing Reserve in the bunker area or for example, Customs around dorms or construction area where fights are typically close range, Val is a really and fun gun to use. This recoil, uh, this 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 build is fully recoil meta. We are using uh, PRS Gen 3 stock, which gives us the lowest recoil, as well as Zenit RK24 grip, as already mentioned, for lower recoil. Charging handle gives us a bit of ergonomics. I mean, we're at 42, not too bad, not the best. And I typically run um, Delta Point Sight on Val. In the previous patches I used to run PK06 because it's a very small site and big sites on Val look kind of strange to me and it doesn't, it doesn't uh, aesthetically please me either. So Delta Point is a really good choice in my opinion. And definitely you should be playing with 30 rounders if you can afford them since Val is a very fast shooting gun. It has a RPM of 900 and that, those 30 rounders are going to be empty within seconds. You can buy them on the flea for roughly the same price as from proper 39k or you can get them from him for a barter which is four players and i think this barter is going to cost you roughly 15k 20k basically twice cheaper than buying the max of the flea and ammo wise i recommend you to run spp it has really good stats a bit better than sp6 the only con of running SPP is that it gives you higher recoil, plus 20 recoil. But that additional penetration compared to SPP, I think it's totally worth it. Both bullets are amazing. I wouldn't, play, I wouldn't mind playing with either of them if I had to choose. But simply because SPP has a little bit better stats, I tend to run SPP. Since we're talking about meta, I would like to talk a bit about the sights. And I typically use XPS30. It's a holocyte and it has only, it has a circle with one dot in the middle. There is another XPS3 site, I don't, yeah, this one, XPS, XPS3 2. It has two dots in the middle and uh, most of the people, including me, don't like it. Some people get confused, they don't know where to shoot. So XPS3 0 is uh, my side of choice. Whenever you move around and your gun swings, the actual reticle in the side doesn't swing too much and that's one of the main reasons why I use this side. 
It's also very clear and very bright. It's very suitable for nighttime and daytime and is generally a cool looking site. And more or less we're done. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I really hope you're gonna try those builds, this wipe to see if they do or they do not work for you. Thank you.